Okay, pole pole, make pictures, take six over here. And then we find out what happened here. Okay, pole pole, yes. Love each other. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna welcome to the Anglican Church, Cathedral of Zanzibar, built on the site where the slave market was. Before I speak much about it, let me start from the beginning. That welcome to the former slave trade market in Zanzibar and remember that this market came to be the base for the East Africa slave trade. This market came to be opened by the Arabs, the Arabs from Muscat Oman and that was around 1800. The reasons to open it, number one, came to be Zanzibar spices. They came to open big farms around here. 1800 Zanzibar population was not yet enough to provide enough laborers so that they needed more people from somewhere outside. And that is by opening this market in order to get more people from East Africa. Number two reason, it came to be the French. They went to Madagascar, Mauritius, and Seychelles. They kept open big, big sugarcane plantations. But that time on those islands, similar to Zanzibar, the population was not big enough to provide enough laborers. They needed more people from somewhere, making the Arabs come to East Africa, and then on this area, they came to open their slave market. Another reason, came to be the big demand of domestic workers, the women, were needed in Syria, in Iraq, in Oman, in the Middle East countries. So they kept open it, get them from there, then supply them to those countries. So 1800, on this area, the market came to be opened. And then, yeah, the slave market. And then the Arabs went outside to East and Central Africa. And remember that by the time Arabs came here to open the business, the locals, most of them, were already combated to be Muslims. They were Muslims, which means most of the locals around here were not taken as slaves. Then Arabs went over there to take the non-Muslim people. They went to Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, Congo, Zambia, Malawi, taking women, men, and children, yes, who are not Muslim, understand, okay? And most of them over there, they got them through kidnappings. After get, yes? But I know that the whole the slave trade was one of the worst. One of the slave trade that they have. It was one of the worst, what they have done to the men and women. That's what it's saying. I found the slave, their one was the worst. The worst one? Yeah. By doing what? And then the car, they castrate the men a lot. Uh, yes, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Some men were and castrated, those who to were taken to, to Middle East, understand? We are castrated in order to make sure that they cannot make a generation of slaves, understand, okay? Over there. And remember that people taken from there, as I spoke to you, we are not Muslims, we are not Christians, the Arabs were Muslims. So for them to the Arabs, we are totally nothing more than animals. Stupid leaders at those things. Okay. What I'm doing, our leaders at those things. Sorry? Yeah. And they? Yeah. believers. Yes. Yes, you yes, can see. And then, as I spoke to you, most of them, they got them through kidnappings. And after getting them, they were chaining them to make sure that they cannot escape. Then from there, the slaves from 
East and Central Africa, the slaves had to walk to the coast. And remember that by that time, no roads, which means most of the time, the slaves were walking through the bushes. They are on the chains. They met elephants, lions, cheetahs on the way. They cannot run away from them, easily attacked by them. They met rivers on the way, no bridges. They must cross it by swimming. Some rivers are crocs, are hypos, easily attacking them. Then the very luck ones came to make it to the end by arriving at Bagamoyo, at the coast of Tanganyika, and then from there to Zanzibar. And from there to Zanzibar, most of them were brought here by the ships and by the DAOs. You know the DAO? D-H-O-W, a DAO, a sunset cruise, okay, moving with the, by the wind, the sail, we call it a DAO. And then when the slaves arrived here, the market came to be opened. And that market came to be very special for men because they needed strong people. So how to find out? that someone is weak or strong. The men, one by one, we are taken to the tree, tied on the tree, and then we put it 10 times. You cry, they pay less. You are weak, you stay in Zanzibar for spices. But if you don't, you are strong, they sell it to the French colonies. And then, the women, some of them, we are married by the slave masters. Some of them taken to be used as domestic workers in the Middle East. And some of them were left around here to cook for the slaves. Then for the children, some of them taken as normal slaves, but sometimes given as a discount and sometimes given as a gift to somebody who did big deals with Arabs. So that's the way the business came to be conducted here from 1800 to 18. 73 when the British came to stop it and the British came to stop it after getting the messages about what was going on around here from Dr. David Livingstone. And then they take okay. so you're saying the white people had to come uh -huh. stop that. Dr. David Livingstone came to East Africa. But they came because they want them for themselves. Uh -huh. Dr. David Livingstone they would get get in. came to East Africa to find out the source of River Nile. Remember that River Nile is from South of Africa, from Lake Victoria, growing up at the north, ending up in Mediterranean Ocean. And then Africa from the south to the north is like you're moving up. So he came to find out where the source is. And when he was in East Africa, he came to see life, what was going on around here. Very quick, he came to send the messages to the British, making them go to East Africa and liberate Africans from slavery. Very good, the British got the messages, and without wasting time, they came to stop it. They came to stop it, putting forward humanitarian reasons, but also they had economic reasons. Remember that the British came to find out that slaves from Zanzibar were supplied, were supplied to the French colonies. The British came to find out that slaves from Zanzibar were supplied to the French colonies, making them to produce and export cheap sugar because of using cheap labor. Remember that at that time, the British in West Indies, the British in the Caribbean, were no longer using slaves. So for them, Came to be expensive compared to the French. That is, they kept to stop it, make sure no slave to the French, make them go down, otherwise make them make fair business. Very good, they came to make it by closing the market. And then by opening patrols at the sea to make sure no more smuggling of slaves. But the patrols were not big enough to cover every part of the sea. End of the day, Arabs came to continue smuggling people by using caves and the slave chambers next over there. So that the business kept to continue again from 1873 until 1909. And it kept to stop because of the industrial revolution. But the day the market was closed here, 
remember that some of the slaves were already arrived here. The market is closed. Nobody is buying them to supply them to sell somewhere. They cannot make their way back at home. End of the day, they were stranded in Zanzibar. That was the time when the missionaries came to this island to take care of them. We had them coming from France. Took some of them, end of the day, came to convert them to be Catholics. We're going to stay Catholic church on the way. And then some of them were taken by the British missionaries, came to convert them to be Anglicans. And then this church was built for them. But before this church was built to them, the British spoke to them, those missionaries, that listen, the market is closed now. Those Arabs were very bad people to you from the beginning to the end. They were chaining you, they were stabbing you, beating up you. But this is your time now to forgive them and forget what they did to, oh, to you. Forgiveness, forgiveness. That was a very good reconciliation idea, mm -hmm. which was agreed. And then how to make it happen? A very good idea came to be, let us meet the church on the site where the market was, that we forgive them and we forget what they did. Which wow. means that was a very good wow. consistent yes. idea. Which yeah. means which means which means okay which means end of the day the enemies came to be friends of each other. The ideas about the architecture of the church came to be given by both. Sorry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The ideas about the architecture of the church, how to make it look nice, came from both. Okay, like you End say, of the day, say, today the church we see nice. inside outside, it came to be built in Arabic styles. And that was the beginning of Zanzibar people to live together, respect each other, love each other, and tolerate each other. So it was built by Catholics when it looks like Arabs. Sorry? It was built by Catholics when it looks like Arabs. Is the ideas about the architecture yeah, came to be given by the book, okay. by the British, by the Arabs. Okay. Stand. That's why outside, inside, okay, some That's architectures, styles, okay, yeah. looks to be Arabic, yeah. and that was the beginning of the Zanzibar people to live together, respect each other, love each other, and tolerate each other. The, the beginning of Zanzibar people to respect yeah. the minorities. Remember that today we are a Muslim majority country. But Friday is a working day, and Sunday is a public off day. Nobody's complaining about it, okay? Nobody is fighting about it. And then of course... Yes, so the church was built here from 1873 and finished in 1884. So that from 1884 to this time, this church is an active church. The masses are conducted on Sundays. Yes. And this church is under the Church of England, but we are flexible, so that not whatever English are doing over there can be accepted here. We do accept it regarding to our culture, customs, and traditions. Otherwise, we do leave it with them. Okay, good. From the church, uh, look at over there at the corner. We can see a cross, a crucifix. Do remember that Dr. David Livingstone died in Africa. It was in 1873 and by that time he was in Zambia. Before he died, he said that when I die, please, my heart must be buried in Africa. My rest of the body take it back to the UK. So that when he died in Zambia in 1873, the heart was taken and then buried under the tree. The rest of the body from Zambia to Tanganyika, Tanganyika to Zanzibar, then from Zanzibar to Westminster Bay Church in England. So the cross we see there, it is made from a tree under which the heart of Dr. David Livingstone was buried in Zambia. Next to the heart over there, we can see something shining decorated over there. That is copper from Zambia for the memory of Dr. David Livingstone where he died. Again from the church over there, we're gonna see a pipe organ from England in use since 1884. We still use it until today. Today on this church, we are no longer with white bishops. 
the bishops are coming today from Zanzibar, but we don't have yet missionaries, uh, sorry, seminaries, which means that we start over there on the mainland and then come back here for the services. Today in Stone Town there are two churches, this one, the Catholic Church, there is 48 mosques and four Hindu temples. But when you go outside of this town, is where you go to meet more churches, which most of them are coming from America, like Jehovah's Witnesses, Assemblies of God, seven days at these churches, understand? Gospel, whatever like that, understand, are available on this island. So from the church, let us stand up, take our items, and then we go to see those items over there which I spoke to you. And then on the way back, before we go to the slave chapters, get ready, there will be a test. I'll be testing you from something around over there. So please now, take your items. Okay, and then come Um, I don't remember him saying that. Africa to find out where is Dr. David Livingstone. He met him and that was 1871 along Lake Tanganyika. And when he met him, tell me what did he say to him? I presume. Very good. And then from here, you see that he up over here. Now he said it because he was the only white guy there. Oh yes, one of the Africans. Yes. And then he can represent us. Wait a minute. We need a bit to stay there. Who are the bottom? Who are the dark time? Do you see something like this? See this? Then come up over here. The hard time in front at the bottom. Do you see a spot? This hard time. Here. This hard time. You see the bottom? Yes. Like this, okay? Yes. Very good. Wow. So before the church is built, okay? A tree was there, used it as a weeping post. So this picture here uh -huh. is taken from there. You see? Do you see it? Yeah. You did, okay? No, I don't see it. Come up here. See the other car in the middle? Look at the bottom. Okay, oh, you see there at the bottom? That was a monument to what they did. No, before they touched the very here. Yeah. Come up here, seem like an image you can never catch up when you leave. Yeah. Yeah. The pillars, they are 12. Two, four, four. 